Manny, it's been quite a few days for you personally, but we'll focus on the game this afternoon to start with at least. It felt like the team were really on it this afternoon and deserved that victory. Yeah, thoroughly deserved um, to a man. I feel like we were betting them. Uh, <coughs> they had their little spell, first 10, 15 minutes, but after that, uh, I feel like we were just rampant. Uh, we deserved the three points, like you said. What was key to that level of performance this afternoon? Um, I don't know if any gaffer was stressed to us about pressing high up and not um, letting them have an easy game. I think that we've uh, deviated from that um, a few weeks before this. We've kind of let teams play a bit more than we should have and I think that we were on the front foot and that was good for us. You say that deviation, did it Did it feel like more more like a complete team performance this yeah, afternoon? Yeah, complete, especially second half. I feel like we um, dominated a lot. We didn't um, let them really have a chance, let them have a sniff. So I think that all round from the um, keeper to runs up top, I feel like we were great. And a, was it? It was a, a comfortable victory for you. Woking were lively in the in the opening period, but you said after that there was there was probably only one team really in it. Uh, I would never say comfortable because like, we know what the league's like. We've had a few comfortable first halves or comfortable second halves, and then we've been it's been the opposite um, coming into the second half. So would I say comfortable? But we did what we had to do, and um, because of the hard work that we put in, it looked comfortable, and that's the level of commitment that we need to show every single game. The gaffer has singled out yourself and Jake Gallagher as that, that real linchpin in midfield. I suggested that when you're playing together there's there's probably no better partnership in, in the National League. It, you two, you complement each other really well. Yeah, Jake is, you know, like, I'm not the, the great, greatest tackler, as I got the red the other day. But um, yeah, Jakey, like, he's always out there um, working hard, working hard all the time, on and off the ball. So he's a joy to play with, like for me and myself. Um, but everyone who plays, who are playing midfield with Jim as well, uh, adds when he was there. Um, yeah, it was great to play with all of them. But um, yeah, Jakey today was world class. I told him when he was playing, he made a run, uh, the left wing got a corner for us. Like he never stops working, and that's why he's loved by the fans so much because they can all see the dedication, and we can see it as a team as well. And yeah, we, we love him. Yeah, is that that understanding between between you two, whoever plays in midfield, that? You like to break forward as, as much as Jake, but obviously you've got to have that discipline that you can't both go and leave yourself too open at the back. Yeah, we've got our balance, you know. Um, we've got a, one of us goes, one of us stays. So um, that's just how it goes. Whoever's in there, um, yeah, me and Jake, we played together quite a bit this season and a bit last year. So um, yeah, I think we just know that like, Jakey likes to break forward and more of the sit up. Sometimes if I go, then he sits as well. At 2 1, I think the shots were. On top, certainly, you always need that third goal as, as a cushion to give yourself that, that <coughs> bit of breathing space. When the ball fell to you, what was your thoughts? Just <laughs> if you found the, the underside of the crossbar, is that where you were aiming to put it? I was aiming to put it high, to be fair, because I saw the guy kind of on the line, so I didn't want to put it low. But um, yeah, it was pretty perfect on the underside of the crossbar, so I'm not going to say I aimed for the crossbar, but um, yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, cap off a nice little month for me, uh, birthday goal. Christmas goals were well, so good for the boys as well. 3 1, kind of um, quieted, woken down a bit, so it was an important goal for us. And I suppose it's one of those when it drops to you, it's always one that could end up in the high street or the top corner. You you managed to keep it down. Yeah, well, when it's me, it's not going in the high now. <laughs> it's probably more likely to go in the high street for me, but yeah, um, it was one of those I just thought get the connection, side foot, and yeah, luckily it went in. You said it has been quite, quite a few days for you. Christmas Day yesterday. A birthday the day before, you got married last week. Yeah. First off, how's married life treating you? It's good, yeah. Coming up to, I think, two week anniversary, so <laughs> it's all good so far. Uh, yeah, I don't know why everyone says it's so hard, it's just pretty easy so far. But um, now it's good, yeah, really good month. Um, got married, um, birthday, spent time with the family yesterday, Christmas, so um, about three points as well. So that's really, really perfect. So we're trying to continue that and go on the 30th. How, how easy or difficult is it to have to have family time, to have a personal life when you're playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, whatever day New Year's Day is, I forget, but you've got four games in, in ten days. It's it's difficult to fit all the, the real stuff, the stuff that matters, in amongst it, I suppose. Uh, you're doing what you love, so you kind of put up with it. You know, everyone else is on their holidays and whatnot, but at the same time, you're doing what you love, so it's not, it doesn't feel like too much of a chore. It's kind of something that you enjoy and you embrace with, comes with the territory, you know. Uh, if we're playing higher up at Premier League level or whatever, you've got to travel sometimes different countries. So we're still quite lucky in that case. 
Um, luckily, Gaffer gave us the Christmas day off. We didn't train, so we repaid them today with the win. And yeah, we're just kind of used to it as professionals, just come with the territory. And now the thoughts immediately turn to Maidstone here on Saturday. It's an easy thing to say. The same again would be very nice, I'm sure. Yeah, um, to be honest with you, it is an easy thing to say, and it's something that we need to decide to do. Gaffer told us before the game, um, it's not easy to turn it on and off, so we need to keep it on. Just um, that high press and that high energy game, not making it easy for our opponents and not focusing too much on being in possession because the game's also out of possession as well. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Um, got the confidence as well from this win, and we're confident that we can continue and just do what we did today. Congratulations, Manny. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.